The first B-52 Strata Fortress arrived at the Boeing facility in San Antonio, Texas, to begin the installation of a powerful new active electronically scanned array ADS on board radar system, giving the venerable bomber a significant boost in targeting capabilities. The B-52's new radar array, known as the APG-79, is very similar to the radar found on board many export versions of America's S-18 Super Hornet, giving the heavy payload bomber a more technologically advanced onboard radar than Russia's top-tier fourth-generation fighter, the Su-35. The system is capable of identifying, tracking, and guiding weapons toward multiple targets simultaneously. The array is also capable of synthetic aperture mapping SAR, or producing three-dimensional reconstructions of landscapes, terrain, and even targets. In fact, this powerful new radar array is so good that it even outclasses the arrays in some of Russia's most heralded fighters. All Russia's most advanced Su-57s, of which there are only a dozen or so production models, may come equipped with a more modern AESA radar, but Russia's current top-tier frontline fighter, the Sukhoi Su-35, is still flying with a much older radar design in its hybrid passive electronically scanned array radar, known as the Irbasi, which is physically turned via a hydraulic drive unit. This system, all dated, is nonetheless quite powerful, even if not as capable as many often claim. The Boeing B-52 Strata Fortress, or BUFF, a slang term for the B-52 based on the acronym Big Ugly Fat, began flying in 1952 and is now expected to outlive not just one, but two heavy payload bombers that were fielded thereafter to replace it. Now, as both the supersonic B-1B Lancer and the stealth B-2 Spirit fly toward retirement, the B-52 is receiving a technological facelift, meant to keep it relevant for decades to come. The future of America's bomber force is now expected to be comprised of fleets of modernized strata fortresses and Northrop Grumman's advanced new B-21 Raider, which is expected to enter service in the early 2030s. Once fully updated, America's newly capable bombers will be powered by eight new Rolls-Royce F-130 turbofan engines managed by new digital engine control systems. Engine replacements were a necessary change, as the B-52's long-serving Pratt & Whitney TF-30 3P-103 turbofan engines are no longer in production, but the F-130 is much more than a direct replacement. Rather than starting from scratch on a new engine design, Rolls-Royce pulled its existing commercial BR-725 engine off the shelf, a system that usually powers long-duration flight business jets like the Gulfstream G650 as well as similar military platforms like the C-37 VIP Transport and E-11 BACN Battlefield Airborne Communications node. As a result, the new F-130 engines for the B-52 benefit from refinements made throughout more than 27 million accumulated engine flight hours, delivering what Rolls-Royce promises will be a significant increase in both fuel efficiency and range. While exact figures remain elusive, Claims from both Boeing and Rolls-Royce have ranged from as little as a 30% increase in range to as much as a 40% increase. America's vast fleets of tanker aircraft tend to lead many to undervalue the importance of extending range in aircraft like the B-52, but improved range not only benefits overall operating costs, but dramatically reduces the cost and infrastructure strain associated with organizing tanker flights around bombing operations. Boeing. But while these powerful new engines will keep the B-52 flying for a projected 30 more years, its powerful new onboard radar and accompanying avionics suite will ensure it is just as deadly for just as long. Despite the myriad updates and improvements made to the B-52 over the years, today's BUFFs are still equipped with the 1960s-era and slash APQ-166 mechanically scanned array radar, though it did see some upgrading in the 1990s. The system's age and technological limitations notwithstanding, simply maintaining them is becoming an increasingly difficult endeavor, due to them no longer being in production. As such, the Air Force has chosen to swap the dated radar out for a vastly more modern and powerful system that will not only improve upon the n apq 166s traditional duties, but will offer a number of new capabilities to boot. The B-52's new radar array the n ap 79 Bomber Modernized Radar System is an active electronically scanned array radar set that is, more or less, the same radar array found in many F-A-18 Super Hornets and EA-18G Growlers, 
just turned upside down to focus the breadth of its capability toward the ground, rather than the sky. Unlike its previously mechanically scanned array radar, which has to be physically steered while in use, actively electronically scanned arrays have no moving parts. Instead, ADSA radars use a number of different solid-state transmit and receive modules, which dramatically reduces the chances of failure along with the maintenance requirements associated with the system. These separate solid-state transmit and receive modules allow the aircraft to project multiple radar beams in different directions simultaneously without any part of the array having to actually move. And because of these various modules, AESA radars are extremely jam-resistant, as they can leverage a breadth of frequencies simultaneously. This modern X-band array, which is similar in function to the F-35s and slash AP-81 radar, has a reported detection range for small 1 square meter targets of more than 93 miles, 150 kilometers, with high image resolution for both target identification and, importantly, allowing for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe this video as I appreciate all your support.